guys, Jen here from Main and Such and Such and Be Scented Fragrance All Supply. Now, I have promised to make a video, oops, sorry, on how I, good gravy. i sorry, I just made you guys like completely sick. So sorry. I promised to make a video on how I do my labels through Avery. I find that they're much easier um, to custom design my labels. I used to buy labels from online labels and I had the hardest time getting their template um, to do what I would want it to do and it just, I give up and I went to Avery just because they're pretty easy. Now what you'll want to do is create your Avery account so, um, I've got mine already, so I just go to my Avery account, and it brings up all of the things that I have made, um, and I have saved to their account. And you guys know, I, in my last video, I said that I used the, um labels the VHS tape labels and I will show those to you um, I'm gonna bring up another web browser and Amazon and let me actually go to my orders so I can bring it up so it's much easier to find and faster um, you can google any Avery label and you can find the one that um, matches, that is off-brand. So you don't have to pay the high price of Avery. And here's mine. This is, I got a thousand labels. Can you guys see that okay? I think so. Let's see, let's turn it this way just a smidgen more. Um, I got a thousand labels from Outfitters. Um, they're the VHS videotape face label, and it even says it's the same size as the Avery $51.99. And I paid a total of $17.55 for a thousand labels. So, let's see, my calculator. We got $17.55 divided by a thousand. I paid just over a penny, 0 .017 per label. So, very inexpensive. The most expensive part of your label will be your ink. So if you would estimate each label costs you five cents to make, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna go back to Avery. And I actually make a list of, um, here it comes up in the camera, woo! I make a list of what uh, labels I need printed. And this is the labels that I need printed to finish getting ready for the um, upcoming release I have on February the 2nd. I have everything else labeled and printed and everything else is wrapped and ready to go. I just need to do these last four. So this is what my normal label looks like. And once you get an Avery account and you save it, you just click open. Takes it a minute sometimes. And let me scroll you down some. And there's my label. Um, and it's very easily customized. Over here in this side, it has all the images. Like if you click on it, it will highlight the image that you have used. And if you wanna get rid of it, you can just hit your delete button or back, or you can use the little, <coughs> oh, you can't see it, good gravy. There we go. I know you're a little crooked. I'm doing my best. There we go. You can hit your little delete button right here. You still can't see. Oh well. It's right here. <laughs> There's a little trash can. You can do it. But it's very easy to customize it. I will show you doing one in 
then I'll show you how to design one. I'm going to do out my Fruit Loops. My recipe stays the same because I just like my recipe. So you do, I highlight it and I change my colors with my soaps. So let me scroll up just to her, just so you guys can pretty much see it all. Okay, and I go over here and it says text color and I click on it and for Fruit Loops, uh, I just like doing all different colors, so we'll do the text. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. We'll do a nice green. And then we'll do, I changed the color of the little, like, flowers that's in here. So, check on, click on change color. Come over here and you click on it, what you want to change. And let's do one of them orange. And then go over here to this one, and we'll probably do this one blue. Change colors. We'll click on it. And let's do a pretty blue. Just like that. I like just a little bit of pop of color on my labels. And this is what I like about Avery labels. As you can see, I have a label here that I've already took some off and I have printed some on there. And there's just like there's four there's four left on this sheet of paper. So I'll drop it in my printer. Excuse me. Oh, I can't get it in there. Okay, I've dropped it in there. Sorry. Um, is it in focus? Up here in the top right hand corner, there is a view, preview and print. Under here in this area right here, is I will print from and I know there's only these four labels left on the sheet so I need to do it printed from number seven to ten so that means it will only print these four labels that you can't see <laughs> I mean I hate to sh scroll you out because then you can't really see good I'll just have to keep moving it up and down. Okay. So anyways, it'll only print the four labels down there. So I'll go up here and hit print. Now, the one thing with Avery labels, you have to make sure, uh, my computer does it automatically. I have a Mac, an iMac. Um, you have to click, um, unfit to page so it opens up another screen the way my computer is down here at the bottom a little window pops up and I will click this um, make sure it's in portrait mine is somehow I've gotten it set the other way but oh well anyways and you'll map because a lot of computers, it is already set to fit to page. You want to unclick that if your computer is automatically set that way. Mine is set to actual size, so I don't need to unclick anything. And all I do is hit print. And my labels will be out in just a second. So I'm going to close this window. Close this window. Okay, Avery, where are you at? Okay. I'll click the back button to bring me back to my label. And as you can see, I have my labels printed. I only have four. I have to do a total of eight. So I get out some more labels. And, um, boys! Not so loud. Let me put some more paper in. Because I only put the one sheet. Alright. So, we need to print four more. So, I'll go back to the preview and print page. And I'll click one through four. Because I need to do four more to equal my eight that I need. 
We'll get these printed real fast and then I'll go on to showing you how I um, design a label. So, let's go home. I have the um, Avery address label. Well, I don't have the Avery ones, but I have address labels, which are like, um, here we go. They're really little. They're one inch by two inch. But the little bars of soap that I made, um, that have the little fishy embeds, I need them, uh, I need the label to be small. So, we can do, um, we'll put in, I don't know the product number, so let's get up to products, and we'll hit labels, it's in the left hand side of the screen, over here, click on labels, address labels, and then right here it is. The, easy, the address labels for the laser printer because I have a laser printer. Click on design and print right here. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. And it brings you up to the page to design your label. Um, I always start with a blank label. So blank and text only over here. I click the blank one and we go to the next page. And here is our label. Okay. So up here in the left hand corner, right here, you can see that it says the add text box. And I want to do my, um, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to delete that and start over. Um, under the images, because I have, the reason I'm doing this is because I have this little design around my logo, or around my business name, so I want to put that in there first. So, over here on Avery Gallery, hold on, we'll go down, this is where I found it, hold on, they have all kinds. This is the Martha Stewart backgrounds and borders is what I've picked. Just a second. And it's right here. They have tons. Tons and tons of stuff to choose from. Gorgeous stuff. You just play with it and find what you like. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna move it to the top. And I'm going to spread it out some. I don't need it across the whole front. Like that. And I may adjust the size once I get all the information on here that I need. I'm going to bring it down just a smidgen. I don't like it too close to the top of the page. Okay, now we'll go back over here and click uh, the text box. And I'm going to take the text box and I'm going to move it up to where the text is in the center. We're going to center the text and I'm going to type my business name. If I can do it properly, we'll be doing okay. Now as you see, it's too big. So I'm going to highlight it gonna drop it down one and I'm actually going to um, change my font over here that one's not it I don't never remember what I use I know silly me cuz I save it after I make it and then you know I forget. Nope. <laughs> I have forgotten what I've used to make 
My label. <laughs> Oopsies. I did that one already. It's not that one. Oh, there it is. Now, as you can see, the different fonts change the size. So I want this to be back up a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger still. Maybe one more. And we're going to take our box and we're going to move it like that. And this is too big, so I'm going to scroll this down so I can click it. I'm going to shrink this up to where I want it. Click on that and I'm going to move it back up in there. There. See, I'm happy with that. It's got my business name and a cute little banner around it. So, then you can click on add a text box. You can use the same or you can start over with the new one. I just like to start over with the new one. And um, those little um, fishy soaps are scented in avo bath, but I think I want to call them something different. Um, I don't know. Let me get the kids out of the bathroom and I'll think about the name and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, I'm back and I think I've decided on a name. The kids don't want to come out of the bathroom yet, so oh well. I think I'm going to call them Gold Escape Fish, um, I don't know, Fish Soap? I don't know, I don't want Fish Soap. I'm just going to call them Gold Escape because they're little gold fish inside there, which they're wrapped in the saran wrap because it is melt and pour and I don't want it to, um, sweat. But as you can see, there's a little gold fishy in there and it's full of glitter. So I think we're going to call them Gold Escape. We want this centered. And I already can tell that this is probably too big. And so we'll call them Gold Escape Soap. I may end up changing that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what I want. And let's see. I'm pushing buttons. Whoopsies. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Oh, crud. I have a smart mouse, and sometimes it's smarter than I am. Okay, sorry, I have it. Incidents. Anyways, um, so it takes me a little while to design my first label, and then once I get it going, it doesn't take me long. Um, I'm going to write down my ingredients. not no good because now I can't type. Um, 
That's what I like about Avery's labels. They're easy. You'll have to wait. Okay, now this is obviously way too big. <laughs> and now I will put my business information. This is all the information I need. Oh boy. Didn't mean to do that. So I think I'm going to actually make this a little bit bigger. We'll see. Yeah, nope. Pixie, will you get down? You're just all in the way. there but this I want to do a color and it's a kid's soap so I think we'll do that color something different and let's go to our Avery gallery and oh those are pretty um, winter, they have wedding stuff. I think I got to so have animals and insects. I've used this flower. This butterfly before because I really like butterflies but um, they have babies and kids let's see if they may have a fish probably not no you also can um, download a photo from your computer like you can go to Google and search photos Okay. Don't forget your headphones. No, I think I got my tablet. Let's see. Noah. I'm on Noah. flowers and plants. Noah. Hey, we hey, have really. We made the tablet. Well, let's see. We got tablet. Have yeah. food, fruit. No, we got earphones. I think they have animals. Earphones. It's earphones. Let's see. Unplugged earphones. What they have in the animal realm. I've got dolphins. I'm looking to see if maybe they have a goldfish. They have koi. Not really what I'm looking for. They have butterflies. Yeah, the little bee is cute. What will be? But it doesn't really go with the soap. So I think I'm just going to go with my normal design. You can change it up if you want, but this is what I use. Click select. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to adjust the size to make myself happy. 
go up a little and I'll bring it down like that and then I'm going to do it again oh that was from my computer whoopsies that's a lot of let's put it over here we'll adjust the size Make sure they're relatively the same. Oh uh, yeah, shoot. Shoot. Just like so. And now I'm going to change the color of them. You have to click on it. Click on change your color. Click on the area. And since the one is blue, We'll do the other one. Well, I want it unisex for boys and girls, so I may do it. Oh, be Um, like a teal color? Yeah, no, don't like that. What else? Help. In a minute. I need down I'll get you out of there. I want for my clothing. Hold on, guys. Here you go. Alright, go on, Pixie. Away from the stand. You're not jumping up there to irritate them anymore. <clears throat> now, even though it doesn't look like I've changed the color, it has. This one is changed. Um, sometimes on my computer it does this. But, um, I think I'm going to change the name to Fish Escape. That's better. I, don't I think I'm happy with that. We'll go to our, um, premium print. Noah. Uh, huh? I only need nine. So, number one through nine is what I'm going to print. I know this video is long, but see, and as you can see, when it comes up, the two colors are the same. So, let's bring this here. And we'll do regular, and I need to put my paper in there. The correct paper, that is. And we'll hope that this comes out right. Let's see what we got. But this is how I design my labels. And when I'm done, I'll show you once this prints out and I know that it does okay. Sometimes I have to make adjustments. No, it did good. You can see here. Uh, let's bring it to the end. You can see right here that it it has aligned well. Ooh, see? So, I'm happy. You can see the line on this side. It's done well. So, the alignment is great. So, right here, you can't see. Up a little. Right here, there's a save button to save your project. Click save. And you can click to save to Avery or your computer. I always click to save on Avery. I always leave it to my Avery account. And I'll change this to fish label, not fush, fish. That way, um, the next time I come on here, I can easily find it and click save and it says that it's been saved online so we'll click back let's click home and we'll make sure it's on our I'll click up here on at the top it's my Avery and as you can see right here it is my fish so if I ever um, want to change it 
uh, I can change it. Um, change the colors, the names, etc. Now, this is my pine tar soap label. I just want to show you this. If it comes up. Yeah, you can see. Okay. Not really. Well, you can. This is my pine tar label. Now, when you are working and like you want to change your label from this to to be able to print this way, you can do that. Up here. Right here it says flip. Just click it and it will flip your label. And you can print it that way. And I will show you a label I have done this way. I'll show you a label that I've done. My, which is my uh, lotion labels. As you can see when it comes up it is the awkward way down here. Just come up here and click the flip and then there is my lotion label. So, I hope this has helped some people. Um, I, I don't mess with um, barcodes because you can add a barcode to... Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Right here, you can do barcodes, um, shapes. Uh, you can arrange, rotate, blah, 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 blah. You can view your options. I just mess with the text and the images section. It's really all that I mess with. Um, and that's it. This is a long video. I hope I have helped some be able to know how to use the Avery labels. And we shall talk to you later. I apologize about all of the noise, but you know, I have two little children. See you later.